here you have a google right google.com okay. Well, it's not going there. So here you just type selenium. Right? Okay. So you press enter key. This mm -hmm. is the element I was talking. Okay. So you have to wait for this element. So there is ID. So this ID you will need to take. You wait for this element by ID. Okay. Or by CSS selector. Okay. So then you have to extract only this number. Hmm. Okay, so this is the dy no, dynamic. If you change here, this will change. Yeah. Basically, this is the dynamic text. So, but this is the entire thing is a string. How can you get only this number? So that's all string methods you have to use. Hmm. Okay. Just uh, no, try. Try it out and uh, we'll see that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So next one is, how can you select a random options from drop down? This drop down will use the same script. Random options you have to select. How can you select random options from drop down? So I'll take up this uh, same code. Okay, copy this. So I'll run now Edge browser. Okay. okay. So select random option from drop down. So select random, random. Okay, so there is a mismatch. So rename it. Okay. So rename and it will be same both uh, here. It's not same still. Go here. Okay, now this is the fine, right? This is the fine. So select random option. So I'll run on Edge browser. Okay, I'm I'm showing all the browsers. So I've shown Chrome, I have shown Firefox, I have shown uh, so where is the errors? There are errors. Now errors are gone. Save you after making changes, save it. I everything is common, uh, but thing is only changes here. So till here it is fine. So this one uh, doesn't work out. Uh, okay, I, I don't need all these things. So I just need this one I don't need. So here. What do you what do you need to do here is basically so you have to fetch all the drop down options first thing second step so you have to get the size of the that collection size of the collection. So size of the collection uh, drop down basically, okay. Int. So DRP size equal to collection dot size. Not size. Size. That's it. So the next step, create object for random class. Okay. So random. R O B J equal to new new random new random. So here you need to generate the random number in the given size. How can you generate the random number in a given size? We have any method. So generate the random number in 
given size. So you have to use use a random class. Next int method. So you have to give here a size. Okay, boundary. This is a method return type method. This method returns a value, which returns integer type data. Okay. So int rand size equal to. So R O V Z dot. Next so you can see we have a next int method two overloaded methods. One is without parameters. Another one is with parameters. With parameters. With parameters. So this is the one you have to get the random size. So once you get the random size, you select mm -hmm. it. So you select the, the you pass this random size to uh, option list OPT. So select by index method. Because this is the index, right? This is the index. So within the drop down size only, the random number is generating. That number based method, what is that to select? Select by index. So you select it. So select random, if you want random number also you can give it. Like maybe I'll give a random number here instead of size, random. Random number. So now the random size, random numbers. So if you want random number, option is selected. From drop down is, so now you get the cell dot get first selected option. So then it will, uh, every time it will uh, no, select. <laughs> if you want to run multiple times, so multiple times, you just put a for loop here. For, for example, five random options you want to select. I less than or equal to five, I plus plus. So I want to select five random options. I can just put this uh, here. That's it. That's about five times it will select the five random drop down options here. So run this program. See, so Edge browser is launched. One. Second one is. Uh, a very big one. Third one, Germany. Fourth one, Christmas Island. Mm -hmm. Four only, because one less than five only. Less than are equal to few. First one. See that first one is eight index, 21, 87, 49. So that's the index number you can uh, even count it. So this is the how you can generate the random numbers. Instead, you are not see, you are not hard coding your options. Maybe your options are dynamically changing. This is the best option. Okay. Mm. Any questions? No. Okay, so let's move on next. Uh, so I covered the get element uh, only methods, right? Uh, the click method, send case method, uh, submit method. I have to cover it. I will cover that. Select class, I covered one more. So select multiple options. So we have a program here. See here, you can go and see that select multi selection drop down options. So follow this. And I'll copy this code. So to save the time, this, this one I'll copy the code and I'll paste it. 
multi select. So basically, scenario we need okay, multi select option, multi select drop down then. So I'm just giving a name, okay. So we have to change the URL. So this is not the URL. So you have to change the URL. This is the URL. See, this is the multi-selection, this is the single selection. So when you practice alone without you know, seeing the methods and you are going to be perfect. Then this uh, URL will change. You have to change the URL, okay? So the URL is um, go to head tag, copy the head tag uh, title value and paste it here. That's it. So you don't need this, uh, all these things. You don't need all these things, guys, okay? Wrong. Just, so, this uh, you can say MS drop, multi select drop. So I'll just give identify this drop down. So what is the ID? Multi selections. You have ID. So let me write CSS selector, okay? Hmm. Because we are using uh, so ID, we have used already. Hash ID value. See the what, what I did here. Hash. So name, hash ID value of formula I have used here. Okay. Now, see, select an option by visible text. First, I'll select. So maybe. January. So based on that, a visible text. So you don't need this red dot slips. All will retain automatically. So it will retain. You don't need this also, you don't need. So I'm going to call. So unnecessarily waste of time also, we don't need. So this, I'm going to select a value. By value. By value means this is the value attribute. So I'll select APR. So APR means April will select because the visible text is April, but the value is APR, okay? So select this one, select by index is this one. I am selecting in February. So I have selected the January, I have selected the February, I have selected the April. Now, still I'm going to continue, few more I'll select. So one more set I'll uh, write. Basically, you can call the same methods if you want to select multiple options, right? I can select uh, here an extra by visible text is, uh, so April we selected, right? Let me choose uh, June. So next I'll give August. So we use it. So next I'll give. Next, I'll give August is done. Um, maybe 10, I'll give 10. 10 means October will select. 10 index I'm going to give. So then I'm going to give one more by visible text. So December, I'll select. So these are all the values. Control A, Control Shift to format. Okay. So now I selected how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I selected. Now fetch all the drop down options. Fetch only selected options. Fetch selected options, selected options, list, so web element, 
selected opts list equal to hmm, cell dot get all selected options so now all selected only will come here how many we selected seven seven only will store here not the unselected ones so next so you want to print them you want to know then you can yes. you know i i can print uh, selected options uh, and count is plus obts list dot size so yeah, you have to give size. Mm -hmm. You have to give size. Now, so you have to uh, give. You want to print them. So let's print all of them. You want to use a iterator or this one or whatever you want. Yeah, I'll use the one. Normal uh, function. Iterate. Iterate. So iterator. Let's use iterator. Whichever you want. So first, the iterator equal to some dot iterator method. So here you have to give from Java dot util package, right? That one. So maybe you can give this uh, collection sizes, this one, this web element. You can put if you want this web element. So that uh, it will be easy for you also. Okay. Then while, so it dot as next. So then print the value. So what is the value it dot next method? So dot get text method. It will fetch all of them. Okay. So next I want to deselect some of the options. Okay, let's deselect. So I'll deselect the options. Start deselecting the start deselecting the so here cell dot deselect an option by visible text so deselect by visible text so you have to give which option you want to deselect so i selected one only can deselect right the other one you cannot deselect so i'm okay. just giving. so i'll call cell dot deselect by value so i can give so deselect by value apr so cell dot so deselect by index so i can give now how many left now Four. Four more. Ah, yeah. Four. Hmm. So oh, yeah. that's it. Okay. So deselected options. Uh, select option count after deselecting three. Okay, now, so I'll deselect all now. I'll deselect all now. All the, the remaining options. So how can you deselect all of them? Cell dot deselect all method. So after deselecting, fetch again. See the count, what is the count? You should have a zero, right? Yes. You should have? Zero. So 
selected options after deselecting after deselecting all so here true that's it see every method i have used here every method i have used here so here also i'm fetching get first selected option all those things okay so any questions here every method of select class i have used selection methods get all selected and deselecting the three deselect methods four deselect methods and get first selected option so that's all about this so let's run this uh, See that that's a selection is showing very clearly. Last selection up op last option selected December. That's all. Any questions? So select class demo is done. Uh, can you show the console output? Seven, okay. Next four, three you deselected. De yeah. So four left. So zero. After all deselected. So next all are uh, so we are printing all the options. Okay. okay. Yeah. So next one is. Uh, so much time we left now. Okay. So next method I want to show next demo. Get element methods demo. Next get text to get attribute to get CSS value and uh, get tag name. Get uh, you know how to get the point of an element. How to get the uh, height and width of an element. Okay. Okay. Mm, so that we will cover tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir.